Welcome back to my little channel. <laughs> yes, 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 the forest is out. We're going to talk about the madness that are our ecological masters and betters. And today I'm going to do so by addressing a very old article. Well, very old. It's nine years old. So, yeah, for a human that's not old, but for an article, I would say this is old. And it's an article that I found on Mail Online, and I will have the link to the article downstairs. But what I find so very interesting is that this article was already written in 2011. So by then, we already knew what was known in this article. But it's obviously from the wrong source, so no one cares, I assume. What are we talking about? Okay. In China, the true cost of Britain's clean green wind power experiment. Pollution on a disastrous scale. I'm going to uh, scroll down a bit. I'm not going to do the whole article. I'm just going to leave it at the topmost part. This toxic lake poisons Chinese farmers, their children and their land. It is what's left behind after making the magnets for Britain's latest wind turbines and as a special live investigation reveals it's merely one of a multitude of environmental sins committed in the name of our new green jerusalem i'm not going to go much further into this we talked about this quite often or at least i know i have and i know lots of other people have as well there is something seriously wrong with this idea of green to make the wind turbines, we need a lot of materials. Not just metal to build the bloody stuff, but special, rare, heavy metals to build the inside of the bloody thing. I mean, I like the fact that a wind turbine stands on top of a 100 meter long metal column. Trust me, they don't grow on trees. And this is true for wind energy, but this is equally true for solar. The link will be downstairs, so you can read it yourself. Now, the article isn't only about how China is so bad, but it tells you about the mess it's making. It's doing so from a Britain's point of view. But this is true for every Western country, because let's be honest, China is the biggest supplier of rare metals when it comes to our green new energies. Funny enough, the green new energies obviously are wind, and solar, nobody talks about nuclear or thorium as a green new energy. It's um, it's kind of like that cartoon where you have people driving in the green electric cars because their car doesn't pollute anymore, but they forget the energy is now being made in big polluting energy building facilities, coal powered or gas powered energy machines because let's be honest solar and wind are still not sufficient anyway a very short one just me pointing out that this is not new but people knew about this long 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 i mean this is not the first article i've seen articles older than this one but we keep pretending it's not true so, yeah, no, I'm, no doubt people will tell me, well, yeah, but, I mean, let's be honest, this is a uh, mail online. They're uh, right-wing or blah, blah, blah. I, I like it when, when you come with certain articles and people will say, yeah, but it's only because of that source and we don't trust that source. Yeah, the thing is, it's not just this to source that talks about the pollution in China. I'm not going to find more sources, though. I mean, my point is not so much that the mail is a perfectly good example. I mean, let's be honest. There are probably examples of why the mail isn't good. Mainstream media is still mainstream media. But we can't get wind energy to be effective. But we are totally okay with wind energy polluting. Anyway, criticism is more than welcome. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. This is a short one, I know, and I hope to see you all next time.